All right, so this is things you need to know before moving to Florida. Right now in Florida, in Florida, right? In, right now in Florida, the housing market is ridiculous. It's becoming like New York, California would say. The prices are high, outrageous, what we're compared, what we're norm, normalized to. So this is what I'm gonna tell you about the real estate market in Florida. If you're planning on buying a house in Florida or relocating to Florida anytime within the next uh, six months to a year. First of all, you do not want to really move to a extremely populated location because moving to Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando is like, uh, you paying Tampa, you're going to be paying premium price. So what I recommend doing is looking at the city you want to be at and then opening your radius up 50 miles. 50 miles is an hour drive from wherever you really want to be at. So the big question is, right? Big question is, is, is the housing market finna drop? Or are we finna head to a recession, right? And I'm gonna take out my crystal ball. Oh, I don't have one. Nobody have a crystal ball, right? Gee, get it back from that water. So nobody got a crystal ball, right? So I'm gonna tell you what's really uh, about to happen, right? So what ha what's going on right now? Everybody think the market gonna drop, right? The market's I'm gonna tell you right now oh, is not is not going to drop like you really think it's going to drop. It's not gonna go boom like in 2008. What has happened is uh, COVID uh, during that time they gave out so much money, right? They gave out so much money that this money got to get accounted for. Where's this money at? And it's been one year, two years since they gave out all this money. And now it's starting to show where the money at. The money is with the uh, business owners, with the insurance company, with the builders, with the concrete company. That's where the money at. And the money is getting spent, um, was well, getting spent from the poor and the middle class to these people who own all these companies. So the market, cause somebody got the money. They gave out $1,200 to everybody in the world. And now nobody got no money. So where the, hey George bag up look at him. he trying to get closer and closer to the water but where's that twelve hundred dollars at everybody got twelve hundred dollars right so everybody's not broke just most people broke but that's why the housing market not gonna crash because the money is somewhere these big companies got the money uh people who were um in had big businesses and their own businesses these are things people that are thriving during this time because uh, most big companies are suffering right now because they can't find no workers. But if you had, say you a mom and pop and you had a, uh, a plumbing store or you a contractor or whatever, you provide great services, you are booming. Your business increased 200% right now. And these are the people that are buying real estate. People who capitalize doing this uh, so-called COVID area. These people are capitalize on making the, the right decisions, the right investments, and they already have businesses. People who already own businesses, their business doubled and tripled during this COVID time. So the market is not gonna drop. What happened is it's making it harder for the average person and you know, the first time home buyer to be able to purchase a home. Right now you got, you got to either have, you know, a lot of cash or, um, that's the main thing, you know? You gotta have cash now. 3% FHA loan does not mean nothing no more. They want people with meat and skin in the game to come and purchase these homes. So the housing price not gonna drop, the interest rates going up, which is trying to slow down Google and all these big companies from buying houses, but that's only gonna hold people back, them Google companies from buying houses. But people who still, you know, have funds and making good income because they producing a product or service they're gonna keep buying houses and no matter what the interest rate seven six five eight percent they gonna buy a home but that person who got a job making twenty dollars an hour and a teacher they can't afford a home no more that's the problem the average of uh, a middle class american and below cannot afford a home no more nowadays if you just bought a home 
thumbs up because you're in the top tier of the Americans in the United States. So it's not going to be a huge market drop. Yeah. It's going to be a slight dip, but yeah. it's not, you know, you got to get in where you fit in. That's what I say. So you moving to Florida, uh, you know, it's many people here. That means many opportunities Losing be made. It. So stop listening to people saying the market going to drop and you're going to keep waiting. You're going to keep I waiting to buy more. and you never will buy. Peace. That's George Dude Real Estate. You want more information on Florida real estate market, you can hit me on um, Instagram, George Dude Real Estate. Subscribe to my channel and also my email, georgesellhomes at gmail.com. And if you have any questions, you want to schedule time, I can help you. Investments, purchase homes, sell a home. George Sell Homes, George Dude Real Estate. Peace.